Good morning, my name is Melissa Wick and welcome to day four of 30 days of morning yoga. I'm so grateful you're with me on this journey. Welcome back and if you're here just for this one class that is also great. If you want to learn more head over to day zero. So this practice is called Hello Hamstrings and it is all about the hamstrings. So we're going to open it from different ways from the IT band, the, the center, the sides, and you'll see, you'll see all the ways that we could explore and access it. So for this practice, you're going to need a strap. So if you don't have a strap, that's okay. You could use a scarf, a towel, or a long sleeve sweater, or a tie, or a belt, something that is long. And two blocks are gonna be great to have, but not necessary. It's just nice, especially if you have tighter hamstrings, to bring the floor up to you, and um, it's very supportive. So I know in the mornings the hamstrings can feel tight, so be patient with yourself. Let's get into something comfortable and let's get the practice started. Let's begin this morning in child's pose. Your strap, you could just have it towards the back of your mat, just off to the side. We won't need it until the end of class. So you can start with the toes touching, the knees wide, and walk the hands forward. Arms could be either extended and active, or you can bend the elbows, adjust and get comfortable as we start in our intentional beginning shape, balasana, child's pose. Closing the eyes. And let's invite in two deep cleansing breaths to fully arrive. As you inhale, let your belly and then your chest expand. As you exhale, let it go through the mouth all the air out. And more like this, fully in. Fully out. Closing the mouth and just start to breathe in and out through both nostrils. It's creating space in the body for fresh air to flow. And with each exhale, just feel your hips sink a little more deeper and heavy to the ground. Inviting in this gentle opening in the hips. Letting your shoulders soften. Establishing this smooth rhythm of breath. Feeling your belly softly rise and softly fall. You can find stillness here, stay where you are, or if you'd like, you can start to rock and sway from side to side and gently massage the forehead center back and forth, side to side, whatever feels better for you as you continue to smooth out the breath. And then from here, we're gonna start to extend the arms if they're not already, and shift the hips forward and come into tabletop. So hips under the knees, wrists roughly under the shoulders. If you ever feel like you have it's a lot of pressure on the wrists, I always bring my hands slightly forward. It feels better for me, so you could try and play. And we'll invite in a couple cat cows to open up the spine. Inhale, we'll release the belly, tilt the pelvis, chest opens, maybe close the eyes and feel into this. Exhale, pull the belly in, nose towards the chest, round. Twice more, nice and smooth, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, cat. Come back to your neutral table, belly stays pulling in, tuck the toes underneath. Lift the knees and push up and back to downward facing dog. So you can start with bending the knees a lot here. I know the hamstrings can feel tight, especially in the morning. 
And then start to pedal it out, bend one knee, bend the other. Ground down through all 10 knuckles of your hands. Wrap the upper arms around and in. Broaden the upper back. Release any excess tension in the head. And the chest is reaching towards the tops of the thighs as, as the sit bones reach up and back. So this is about lengthening the spine. And the hamstrings are secondary. We do get a stretch, though, in the hamstrings, which is nice. Good. Now let's lift the heels and then we'll drop both heels over to the right. So you can keep the legs lengthened or you can bend the knees and keep reaching the bum up and back. Push down through the hands. Feel this nice stretch in the side body and inhale back to center and exhale heels drop to the left. Bend the knees or extend them. Good. Back to center. Steady your gaze, connect with your breath. Now what we'll do is we'll step the right foot through between the hands and the left knee is gonna come down. Low lunge, arms are gonna sweep up, breathe in. As you exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows and pull that right hip back, show your heart, open the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, half split. So bum goes back, toes toward the face. And we're gonna flow like this a couple times. So bend your right knee, inhale, arms sweep up. You can always engage the left glute for more stability. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest, any amount, lift up and out. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, half split. One more time. Inhale, bend your right knee, arms lift. Exhale. Cactus, open, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, half split. This time we hold. If you want, you can absolutely use blocks here. Toes toward the face, softening the shoulders, lengthening the spine, inviting in that ease. Beautiful, we'll re-bend the right knee and we'll place the hands on the inside of the right leg, preparing for skandhasana to the left. So you'll tuck the left toes under, power up the back leg, lift your hips a little higher, walk your hands to the back, turn your heels in, toes out, and bend the left knee, right leg extends. So your left knee is in line with the left toes, hands could be on the ground or blocks, and just try not to just dump and hang out here. This could be a vulnerable shape for the hamstring, so we wanna keep the legs active and supported as we're finding the opening. Staying present here with your breath, with your body. All right, and let's bend the right knee, walk the hands back, frame your right foot, all 10 toes forward, modified pyramid. So the ball of the left foot is down, the right foot is planted down, legs extended, right hip pulling back. Try to lengthen the spine, softening the shoulders. Ground down through all four corners of the feet. Great to use blocks here. Beautiful. Now, if you're taking your blocks with you, take them forward, weight into the right foot. Inhale, left leg's gonna rise just for a moment. And exhale, lower the left leg behind the right so the toes kiss, heels come apart. Sciatic stretch, folding here. Now we're gonna slowly roll up. Let your arms just dangle. Head is gonna be the last to roll up, coming all the way up. When you get to the top, loop the shoulders onto the back. Arms are gonna reach up. Right hand is gonna grab the left wrist and reach up and over to the right bow, the left side, chest stays open, ground down through the feet as you lengthen. Separate the feet hip width distance, release the arms, inhale, maybe look up. As you exhale, circle the arms through or hands come through center as you forward fold. Now let's take a halfway lift, inhale, fingertips to shins or quads and find a flat back. So pull the belly in, shoulders back, chin in, long spine. 
And as you breathe out, forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to to plant the hands down and step back to downward facing dog. Okay, let's go to the other side. So we'll step the left foot through between the hands, right knee comes down, arms sweep up, low lunge. Drop that left hip down. On your exhale, you're gonna bend the elbows, pull the left hip back and open the chest. Engage the right glute for more stability. Inhale, extend the arms up and exhale, half split. So one breath per movement, we'll do that two more times. Inhale, left knee bends, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, let your heart blossom. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, half split. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, open, bend the elbows, left hip pulls back, reaching up and out. Inhale, arms lift, and exhale, half split. Maybe here, you use your blocks again, toes toward the face, softening the shoulders. Long spine, chin in, find softness in your breath. Beautiful, let's bend the left knee, blocks aside, arms on the inside of the left leg, tuck the right toes under, power up your back leg, lift the hips, skandasana to the right, heels in, toes out. Right knee is tracking in line with the right toes. Support yourself so there's still strength and integrity in the legs as you find the opening. Beautiful, let's walk the hands back, frame the left foot, all 10 toes forward, modified pyramid, hands on blocks, the left leg extends, draw the left hip back, soften the shoulders, lengthen the spine, breathing into the hamstring here. Good, and then weight into the left foot, bring the blocks forward, right leg lifts just for a moment, legs lengthened, Exhale, lower the right leg beside or behind the left toes, kiss, heels apart, sciatic stretch fold. Now we're gonna slowly roll up, let your arms hang. Head is gonna be the last to come up, nice and slow, stacking the spine. When you get to the top, loop the shoulders onto the back. Arms reach up, left hand grabs the right wrist, arch up and over to the left. And back to center, release the hands, separate the feet, inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands down, step back to your downward facing dog. And let's lift the heels, place the knees down, bring your sit bones down, and swing the legs forward. Scoot yourself up. We're gonna roll down onto our backs. Make sure you have your strap close by within arm's reach. Now we're going to find our straps or whatever you're using to mimic a strap. And we'll Bring the right knee in and place the strap around the ball of the right foot just below the toes. And we'll extend the heel up towards the sky and the toes toward the face. So you wanna find a spot on the strap where you could plug the shoulder blades in, chin in, so back of the neck stays long, and really try to lengthen out your legs. So if that means your leg is a lot lower, that's perfectly great. Because with the leg lengthen, you're gonna also get a nice stretch in the calf and the Achilles with the toes coming toward the face. Your left knee could stay bent if you want a little more, you can extend the left leg. As long as it's not turning out to the side, keep it active so both feet flexed. And just send your breath into the areas where it feels a little dense, needs a little more love, a little more tenderness and care.
Good, and then we'll take both straps into the left hand. Right thumb could come into the hip crease on the right side. As a reminder to just stay down and the right hip stays glued to the mat. And just draw the right leg a few inches over to the left without lifting the right hip off. So it might just move a centimeter. You just keep reaching through the heel and we'll start to feel a nice stretch and opening in the IT band. Notice if you've tensed up anywhere, invite in more softness. Good, bring it back to center. And we'll just do a simple switch. So your left foot can extend up and just replace the right on the ball of the left foot. Right foot plants down, readjust so the shoulder blades are plugged in, back of the neck long. Bring your awareness to the left heel as it reaches toward the sky and the toes toward the face. Invite in ease, breathing into the hamstring. One breath at a time. Extend the right leg if you wish for more. Really listen to your body. Beautiful, bring both straps into your right hand, left thumb into the left hip crease as a reminder to stay down. Draw the left leg over to the right. Keep reaching through the heel, find your breath. Good, bring your leg back to center. Gently remove your strap. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Acknowledge your efforts. Big breath in here. As you exhale, extend out long into Shavasana. Taking up as much space as you'd like. Maybe lift the shoulders, slide the shoulders under. A little wiggle in your hips, close your eyes. Letting your ankles just fall open. Feeling the openness in your hamstrings. Inviting in heavy, heavy bones. This time is here for you to just rest and reset the nervous system and receive your efforts and your practice. Shavasana. Relax the energy behind your eyes. There's nothing left for you to do here. And as you rest here in this space of nothingness. Creating the space here for your intention to come through. What is your intention for the rest of the day and the morning for this moment? It doesn't need to be grand, just allow it to be sincere. On the next exhale, just allow that intention to radiate throughout your entire being. And stay here for at least a few minutes if you can. Thank you so much for your trust and for sharing your practice in this journey with me. From my heart to yours, namaste. Hi yogis, if you're looking to add on a meditation practice to your yoga journey or just to your yoga practice in general, you can select from one of these short but potent meditation practices. You can pick one to suit your needs. You can try the same one for the whole 30 days or try different ones depending on what you need in the moment. 
The meditation practice will help to deepen your yoga practice and it'll help to deepen your connection with yourself, strengthen your awareness, and learn some tools on how to self-regulate and to find that place of ease and calm within you on and off the mat. Namaste.